Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? It's Sunday the 8th of September and it is another daily vlog slash what I eat in a day whilst on a GLP-1. <laughs> so if you're new, welcome. My name is Marcy. I'm 53 years old. I live in North Yorkshire in the UK and I am on Munjaro and I'm currently in week 16 of my weight loss journey and my dose is 7.5 milligrams. It's going really, really well. So I do hope you enjoy my vlog today and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. If you are a returning watcher, subscriber, slash friend, um, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back again today and thank you for all of your lovely messages and things um, that you just continue to leave me. It's just, you mean so much to me now. Honestly, you really do. I could not do this without you. So I'm really loving the little community that we're growing here. And yeah, thank you so much. So yeah, another day of what I'm eating. There will be split screens with the Nutri Check app showing all the nutritional values and then a little rundown at the end of the day. So plans for today. I've already been up and had my breakfast, which I had a bowl of porridge, which was yummy. So I'll pop that a little bit in here now. Right, so for breakfast, I have just made some porridge. Now, bear in mind, when you're using the NutriCheck app, when you scan the barcode, it comes up with just the porridge and not the milk. So I hadn't realised that when I tracked it before. So you will need to add, if you're using the sachet, it's 180 mils of whatever milk you're using. So just add that in. You'll see that here on the split screen now. But yeah, so quick, easy breakfast today. And um, yeah, so Glenn's taking Michael bowling this morning. They're just on the way back. They just went for a couple of games. It's nice to have a little bit of boy time. I get a bit of time with Michael myself anyways of um, odd days and things. So it's just really nice, I think, for them just to do a little bit of boy stuff together. So they've done that. I managed to have a shower in peace, dry my hair, get my makeup on, because like, I think um, Michael's a bit of a Nana's boy and he does love being with Nana all the time. So it's been nice just to get myself sorted out and then we are going to be taking him back home today. But we're meeting part of the way back, um, meeting my son and his partner and blah, 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 there's a lot of bands in there. <laughs> Can't speak. We're going to be going for our Sunday dinner. So we'll be having a carvery. Um, not sure how I'm going to get on. I've never had a car for it, I don't think, since I've been on a GLP-1. But I'll just um, get a bit of meat, a few veggies, see what it's like, and then go from there. And then we're going to pop in and see my mum and dad on the way home from there. And that's going to be pretty much Sunday done and dusted. And then normal service shall resume tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to just scoot off for the moment. But um, I'll still bring you along with me. Um, I know there's not been loads of footage this weekend whilst I've had little Michael here, but... Too bad. <laughs> I'll see you all in a little bit. All right, guys. Why? Done it. Yeah, I done that bit. She's got a ham oh, sandwich yeah, and some lentil chips. Quite a lot, you know. Mmm. How are you getting on? Good. You're doing really good. Thanks. So we ended up not going out, and um, the kids were knackered after their weekend away. So they came over, spent a couple of hours here. They've gone. We've then been to my mum and dad's, spent a couple of hours with them. Um, I've had a glass of wine because I figured, um, let me pop you down, I need to do a little bit of research <laughs> as to how I am with wine because obviously it's Italy in two and a half weeks time and I want to be able to enjoy a glass of vino. So I thought, let's do it. Let's have a glass of wine here at home while at my mum's and then see how I feel tonight and tomorrow. And if that's all okay, then fantastic. And um, I wouldn't want more than a glass of wine anyway whilst we're out maybe with my dinner or like at the wedding and things. So yeah, I'm just trialing out the wine. Um, dinner is now on. We're just having some new potatoes, carrots, broccoli. <laughs> and thank you, Morrison's, a cooked chicken. So it's going to be a really quick, easy dinner, but something that is nutritious and good for me and all that stuff. So... I do feel slightly tiddly after one glass of wine. 
I haven't drank in so long. Hang on, let me just turn down my carrots. Um, it is ages since I had a drink and I do feel a bit, yeah, a bit tiddly. So, yes, <laughs> let me get dinner on and I'll be back. I'll show you all plated up and we'll do all the split screens with nutrition and everything. So, yeah, but I hope you've all had a lovely Sunday. It is drizzly again, still warm, but just a miserable day. So, see you in a wee bit. Oh, delicious. So I've got 150 grams of turkey down, 150 grams of chicken, 150 grams of potatoes, 75 broccoli, 75 carrots, and then a shed load of gravy. Oh, delicious. So that is me done. And I'm um, slightly over optimistic with the amount of potatoes I could eat. As I was getting full, I decided it was far more important to eat all of my chicken then to finish my potatoes, so that is exactly what I did. And then um, I did have loads of broccoli on my plate, so I'm really happy with that. I'm stuffed, and it was so, so tasty. Um, Time for PJs and a bit more greys now, but I'll catch up with you all later for a bit of a chat. Good evening, everybody. Oh my gosh, my glasses, I think, are disgusting. I've um, not long washed my face. <laughs> anyway, that'll do for now. It's just us. It is just um nearly 10 past 10. Um, Sunday night, obviously, and oh my goodness me, what a great weekend. Oh, I love having Michael so much. So I'm not sure what I've vlogged <laughs> this weekend and what happened, honestly. Is <laughs> it feels ages in between um, picking up the camera and things and having a chat with you all, but um, I've sh I know I've sh shared my dinner with you. I've had just had some collagen as well, just to try and bump up my protein. So it's not looking too shabby. It's not over 100 grams, but it's fine. Um, I just really don't fancy having any clear protein tonight. I really struggled drinking it last night. So I think I need to go back to trying to maybe have my clear protein, like mixing it at the beginning of the day. And then I've at least got the day to, to kind of sip on it and drink it and get it into my system. Um, I'm just not enjoying the strawberry and kiwi. I mentioned that last night and I really enjoyed it when I tried it in the little sample sachets. But I don't know, maybe I need to dilute it a bit more. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, another yawn. Oh my word. So oh, these pyjamas are ginormous. You should see them on the <laughs> Then I need to get some new jammies. Uh, I need new everything. Um, dinner, I really enjoyed my dinner. I totally overestimated how many potatoes I could eat. <laughs> so yeah, I literally ended up eating a third of the potatoes. But yeah, I prior prioritised the chicken. I think I mentioned this to you already. I might have already chatted about this. I'm not sure. So yeah, but my gosh, I, no wonder like bodybuilders and things eat so much chicken. Have you seen how much protein is in chicken? So if you're struggling to get your protein in, and you're just trying to work out what you're going to have for your dinner and that, just have a chicken breast. That um, made like a cooked chicken from Morrison's and we literally had like, we ate all of the breast meat between us. We just had like half of, um, so I had one breast each and it came in, I think about 45 grams of protein for that. It's like absolutely madness. So yeah, I just made sure I ate all of my chicken. I ate most of my veg. And um, I had a few potatoes and honestly, delicious. It was so good. Oh, I'm going to be, I need to go shopping. So I think I'm going to do a food shop tomorrow. I will do a separate food shop video. I think it's just good sometimes to keep them separate. I think my Morrison's one last week, I should probably have done that as a separate video. Um, do give me feedback on that. I'm really interested to hear. It ended up being a reasonably big shop actually in that it was about over 50 pounds worth of stuff so it wasn't just a couple of bits and pieces um so i think because there was a bit more in there i probably should have done it as an individual video just in case you're not interested in food shops i think it's different if i just get like a couple of pieces like a couple of things you know just to add in but like when there's that many things i think it just needs to be its own video in its own right um but yeah let me know but i think i will probably in future make sure that you know Anyway, I know what I'm trying to say. Um, thank you for all your comments. Oh, right, I'm gonna stop doing these videos because I'm really aware. I just yawn. I mean, either I've got to edit them out. I've just got something in my eye. Um. Oh, hang on. 
day. So yes, it shall be back to normal style videos tomorrow, which is good. Um, but yeah, I've had a really good weekend. And I think I explained earlier that we ended up not going out for our dinner as we'd originally planned. And um, yeah, so the kids were just like, I mean, they were just too tired after their hectic weekend in Birmingham, which is fine. Um, but they were sort of still, they stayed here still for a couple of hours. So it was nice just to catch up with them. Um, oh, Michael's so funny. He was really sad when he went home. Um, he just loves coming and we love having him here. Um, we were so used to him like, before being around the corner. So it was very difficult for us all now to have that sort of distance between us. Like Michael and I, I think, are really pretty close. And um, so, yeah, but it is what it is. And um, it's fine that they're, that they're all happy where they are. And that's the main thing, isn't it? But yeah, it's just sad that they're not around the corner. So I hope you have all had a really good weekend. Let me know how you've been getting on, what you've been up to, how your food's been and things. I'm certainly looking forward to getting back eating properly again tomorrow. This weekend has just been a bit haphazard, but you know, it's just, when you've got busy weekends and no real proper plans, it's absolutely fine. But um, today's eating has been a lot better. Obviously now I've had like my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the meals have resembled <laughs> times of day I'm eating. Really interesting because if I wasn't tracking calories, and this is the thing when um in case people say, oh like, oh you're not eating enough calories, blah 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 blah. If I wasn't tracking calories and I was just like a regular person, <laughs> regular, but you know what I mean, not on a diet or whatever, right? The fact that I had like a bowl of porridge at my breakfast, I had a sandwich and some crisps at lunch, and then I've had a cooked dinner this evening. That's just like a really well-balanced diet. You know, that looks fine to me on paper. You think, yeah, that's fine. Nothing, you know, you wouldn't say someone was starving themselves or under eating, but calorie wise, it's like just over a thousand calories. So it's really interesting, isn't it? How you can make certain sorts, but that's having like a carby breakfast as well. Nice sandwich with crisps at lunch. And then like, yeah, meat, veg, potatoes for your dinner. It's like, it just shows that you can actually eat normal food and be in a deficit. So I think that's the main thing, isn't it? You don't have to be munching on lettuce leaves and like starving yourself. So I certainly don't feel um, deprived in anything at all. Oh, and I had my glass of wine as well, as you saw earlier. So yeah, I've, um, I've had quite the Sunday, really. <laughs> it's been absolutely fabulous. So... I'm going to stop there. I've not got any much more to say today, really, but hang on. I am going to edit out all these yawns, by the way. Um, so yeah, I've not got much else to say apart from thank you. I hope you had a great weekend. I will see you all tomorrow and we will crack on with a normal day. So see you soon, guys. <laughs> Bye for now. Let's wrap up Sunday. So breakfast, 226 calories with 9.5 grams of protein. Don't forget to scan the milk. Um, lunch, just a sandwich and the crisps, 399 calories, 16.5 grams of protein. Um, not bad at all. And then for my dinner, I have adjusted the potatoes on this, um, on the NutriCheck, so it's 324 calories, can you believe it? But 49 grams of protein, that's like crazy. I just literally can't believe that. 45 grams of protein was in that chicken. It's like absolute madness. Look at the protein in broccoli. I never even knew that. That's really good as well. No wonder people love broccoli. Um, so that's snacks, I've got my wine and my collagen <laughs> um, and a few cups of tea there as well. Um, total calories for today, 1,206 with 93.8 grams of protein. So not bad really overall. And then looking at the macros for today, there we go. So yeah, um, my carbs aren't too bad considering I had porridge and a sandwich. So I think that's pretty good. And then looking in on the rolling seven day average, again, it's um, my calories need to be increased a bit more, I think really. So I need to work a little bit harder on that 
maybe more wine is required. <laughs> um, so here are my macros for today. Quite a nice distribution again between fat, carbs and protein. And then looking at the rolling seven day average, it's not bad at all either. And then this is my week so far, panning out. So looking through from Tuesday up until today. So one more day left of my week. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Normal service shall resume tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.